One of the more advanced features of Engon is the ability to scatter pre-made assets along a curve. Open the Engon browser and apply the Geometry Nodes filter. You can also search for Curve, or apply the Drawable tag on the left side panel. Select any asset to add it directly to your scene. Alternatively, you can click the Asset menu drop down and hit Draw Geometry Nodes. It will default to Surface Mode, so the curve sticks to whatever you're drawing on. Once added, select the curve by clicking on it and expand the curve scatter options in the Engon interface under the Botanic section. This is where we can adjust all of the controls for the scatter, but let's edit the shape of it first. The assets are parented to a curve object. Like any curve, we can manipulate the shape and the scatter system will update in real time to follow it. And we're not limited to Botanic assets. If you have the Internic library, you can use the same technique for drawing cables. Super useful for detailing interior scenes quickly. Now jump into edit mode with the tab key and start moving the curve anchor points around. The trees will follow the curve and you can extrude a point out to extend the scatter's area. If you prefer to make your own curve, you can select all of the points with the A key and hit delete. Now you can add one of Blender's curve types while still in edit mode using Shift A. If you need to speed up the viewport, try increasing the viewport proxy value. One replaces the trees with solid primitives, and two uses bounding boxes, which will significantly improve the responsiveness of the scene. If you have an uneven surface to distribute on, you can use the snap to object control, and the vegetation will follow the mesh faces of the target object. You can also conform the vegetation to the normals of the target using the conform to slope control. Set it to zero to make them face straight upward. Once you're happy with the curve, we can jump into the scatter options for more fine grain control over the trees. The biome is separated into layers with each layer representing a collection of assets. We can control the spread or clumping of the scatter using the spacing and width controls. We can also set minimum and maximum scale range for the assets or scale the entire curve in object mode to change everything uniformly. Finally, we have individual controls to adjust the overall density and clumping for each layer. It's worth mentioning that these curve-based scatters aren't currently animatable, but will be in a future update. Make sure you're subscribed so you'll know when it drops.